Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this July 2nd, Monday, 4.45 a.m. Central Time. Already muggy out there. Temperatures in the 70s. Dew points are the same. Get ready for another scorcher. Hot and humid. But we do see a better chance of getting maybe some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we go through the day. 94, that was our high temperature yesterday for your Sunday at the Bowling Green Airport at 3 p.m., a few degrees higher than the average of 89. 75 was our low temperature, a few degrees warmer than the average of 67. No rainfall for the past 24 hours or for the new month of July, it's only the second day. As we ended June, pretty much even as far as where we need to be for rainfall we didn't think we were going to make it but we did so that's great news as we head into july and it looks like our rain chances may not be done as a look at the forecast for today we've got a outflow boundary that is uh, from previous day thunderstorms back to our west we had a few pop up yesterday in a couple of spots And that boundary is just west of us, kind of laying along the Ohio River and moving this direction. So I think once the sun comes up and uh, we get just a little bit of daytime heating, I think those showers and thunderstorms will start popping, especially late morning into the afternoon. So we're going to go with hot and humid again today with a good chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Actually, it's about 40%, but that's better than what we've seen in previous days. And we'll see a high of 92 with that afternoon heat index outside of any thunderstorms being 95 to 100 or hotter in some cases. Winds will be from the southeast at 6 miles per hour. Tonight, we'll continue with a chance of scattered showers early and then I think we will see some areas of patchy, dense fog as we get into the overnight hours and early Tuesday. Low tonight at a muggy 73. Now, Tuesday, we're going to see more activity, about a 30% chance of a few scattered showers and thunderstorms. Otherwise, another hot and humid day. We're going to go with 92, and I know a lot of you are wondering about fireworks festivities, specifically Thunderfest, which takes place uh, Tuesday evening. Gates open at 4, festivities at 5, and of course we'll have the fireworks just after dark at the National Corvette Amphitheater. 20 bucks a car load will get you in. And it looks like we'll be okay. I mean, most of these uh, Thunderfests that we've had, uh, let's see, the year before it really rained, last year, We could see some scattered thunderstorms kind of around the uh, Corvette Amphitheater, but they didn't hit us. So uh, we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But I think 30% chance of that popping up, you know, it's going to be just kind of here and there. It's not going to be everywhere. So I think we should be okay. Now, as we go into your actual 4th of July holiday, which is Wednesday, We've taken out any mention of rain. It looks like we're actually uh, going to see high pressure building in for a time. Mostly sunny skies, but it is going to be very hot and humid. 96 is what we're going with for a high temperature. And that means, of course, the heat index is going to be at least 100, maybe 105 or higher. So dangerously hot and humid if you're outdoors for any length of time, grilling out, or if you're going to the lake, just be sure you slap on some SPF and uh, you take it easy. Don't overexert yourself. Even, you know, if you're near a pool, you can always jump in. But if you're not, then that's going to be, um, you know, that's going to be dangerous to you if you're overdoing it while you're outdoors. But 96 for the 4th of July. Then Thursday, we go back into the rinse and repeat pattern. It is going to be warm and humid each day with a daily chance of showers and thunderstorms. Thursday, 93. A better chance of rain, though, as a cold front, of it, it, well, it finally comes through. And with that, we're going to bump things up to 60%. 
60% chance of showers and thunderstorms likely for Friday at 89. Then that front comes through. It really doesn't change much. We'll keep in the daily chance of showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon and evening hours. Highs in the upper 80s to around 90. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5 on AM Kentucky, 11 AM on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com and to your Amazon Alexa device. And don't forget our new WBKO weather app to take it with you this 4th of July. Later today, if you get a chance, tune in to my radio show. It's at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m. Or you can listen online anytime, anywhere at BowlingGreenSam.com.